In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 13 to 17. Then they sent to him some of the Pharisees and Herodians to catch him in his words. When they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one. For you do not regard the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Bring me a denarius, that I may see it. So they brought it. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered and said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. This part of scripture is very familiar to a lot of people. But I think the key to this is rendering or giving to God what is God. We live in a world, we live in a land that has government, that has taxes, and we need to contribute to that. But also we need to contribute to the church, we need to contribute all things to God. Keeping in mind that the church, okay, there are many problems with the church, but the main thing is, the church is a place of worship. If you have a building, it needs to be upkept, the keeping of the, of the building. And in some cases, these days, it's becoming rarer, but also supporting the priest and his family. Like for yourself, if you are working, you go to work, you work for a a company or a boss or whatever and you expect some sort of payment for that and of course you then receive wages likewise for the priest and the supporting of the church but the most important thing besides all that is rendering to God that is the most important thing. We need to worship God. God gives us many things, many gifts. How often do we thank God for those gifts? Hmm? How often? Every morning when you get up, do you thank God for the night? Hopefully it's been peaceful. Likewise, when you go to bed, you also thank God for that day. 
there is a prayer that I say when I go to bed at night and when I get up in the morning. My morning and night prayers. And there's a particular one which is very good. Now, all that I do now is to find it. There we are. Thank you, O Lord, for my safety through the night. Thank you, O Lord, for this new day. Thank you, O Lord, for all your blessings. <clears throat> In you, O Lord, I trust. Let me never be confounded. Then another prayer. O God, enfold me. O God, surround me. O God, be in my speaking and in my very thinking. O God, be in my life. O God, be on my lips. O God, be in my soul, in my very heart. That is a morning prayer. And then, when going to bed at night, I'll read a couple of prayers from that. You have been our light, O Christ, throughout the day. As we now turn out our lights, let us not extinguish in our hearts the eternal light. For the sins I have committed this day, Lord of Lord, forgive me. For the blessings I have received this day, King of Kings, accept my grateful praise. There are very similar prayers, but it's important to render to God. Render to God our grateful praise. And of course, there are some wonderful psalms that we can read. Rendering to God. Worshipping God. In the many various forms. And of course, the most important and the best ever is to participate in the Divine Liturgy, the ultimate prayer, and then in return to partake of the Divine Body and Blood of Christ. Renders Caesar what is Caesar's, render to God what that is. Uh, that what is of God. Pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit today to open your eyes to see what you should be doing. And don't forget, work hard, earn your money, or earn your keep, most importantly, render to God. Work, there is a little saying, work a little prayer into your day. Offer your work up as prayer. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.